All right, folks, today we have a 2004 Volkswagen Touareg. It's an all-wheel drive SUV, and the first thing we're gonna do is start it up. All right, as you can see, starts right up there, no problem. You can see there's no warning lights or anything on. It's telling me the hood's open, which obviously it is, because we're gonna check out the motor here in just a second. Um, but before we do that, we're just gonna do a basic check of our, um, where is it, there it is our equipment. So we got power mirrors. All right, you can see it working there, no problem. And again, driver's side, no problem. Let's check out our power windows. You can see down and up. All right, no problem there. Let's spin it around to the rear. All right, so there you go, power windows, and next thing we got here is a sunroof. You see that guy all the way open, all the way closed. All right, so like I said, there's uh, just a couple, uh, a little bit of our equipment. Next thing we do is check out oh, our, I love our, having him here. our radio. Let's see if we can get some music instead of just talking. These flavors from a traditional holiday dinner. But that's All right, important. well, they're on commercial, so there's that. Um, we do have heat, which I know works fine. It is, what does it say, 55, 57 today, with a little bit of sprinkles, almost mist. Um, but anyway, I, like I said, the heat does work no problem. Check out our mode there, turn up the fan. There we go. Um, so it's that time of year, unfortunately, where we gotta make sure the heat's in good working order and in this vehicle it is all right and last thing i'm going to show you right here this is our selector for our all-wheel drive as you can see it's on high and basically your other option is low um, and <clears throat> you won't really need to mess with that too much but we'll demonstrate that later in the vehicle uh one last thing where are they heated seats right here and again that's a nice feature to have when it starts getting cold out uh, that's the front two seats, both uh, driver side, passenger side. All right, so let's hop out now and check out the motor. This is a V6. I believe they come in a V6 and V8 variant for the Touareg. All right. Let's go quiet with you guys. All right, so there is a shot of the underside of the hood. Look at and generally just put the motor up and over there. All right, so there is your motor. Next thing we are going to check is our tread depth on our tires. You can see we do have uh, Volkswagen alloy wheels all the way around. First tread depth measurement is 430 seconds on the front. Looks like we got a little better on the back here. We are about 7.30 seconds on the back. All right, and again, we are 7.30 seconds on the back. And we'll check out the front here as well, which is about 6.30 seconds there. So that is the tread depth. Next thing we're gonna check out is the interior of the vehicle. You can see black leather, black upholstery. Uh, black carpet. All right. Next thing we'll do is just a quick check of our door jam. See we're looking nice and clean there, nice and shiny. Looks good down there. Door panel. And then a shot of the door itself down low. All right, so you can see that's looking good. Here is the rear seat. Floor, floor mat, and again our wheel well and door jam. Looking nice and clean there. All right, let me take a step back here. Door panel looking good, and then of course you can see the door itself. A little bit of rust on this one, um, but that's really the only one. And let's check out the trunk. Looks like I locked myself out. And we'll go 
demonstrate our little trunk release. Right here, pop this guy. All right, and there we go. So there's our trunk. You see, there's a little bit of staining. I'm sure they spilled some kind of caustic chemical there. Um, I found these two wiper blades in here. I'm just gonna leave them. I don't know if they're good or not, but you guys can decide, you know, if you want to swap those out for the ones that are on there. All right, so there it is. There is your rear. It's got the, the spare underneath. As you can see, whoops. All right, spare underneath and the fold down seats in the front. So you can have the 60-40 uh, split fold down seats in the rear. And of course, the little privacy device. If you got something in the back, a lot of people like to keep tools in the back of their vehicle, you know, whatever. That way no one can get an easy peek at what you're pulling around, carrying around. So let's take a look at the tailgate. You see that's looking good. No rust or corrosion there. So we'll close this guy up. Check out the rear seat on this side. All right, see looking pretty clean there. There is your floor mat and floor. Again, we'll check out the door jam or the wheel well into the door jam. All the way around and that's it folks door panel and the doors all right now we get to the driver's seat and you'll see a little bit of wear and tear there this is pretty common on these Volkswagen seats they almost always get I think they just get a little brittle as they age and they, they break a little bit but overall sitting in it you wouldn't even notice so that's up to you if you want to get a cover for it or just leave it as it is. All right, so let's check out the door jam. All right, and then down below, and of course, door panel. Now you already saw me use um, the trunk release. That's also where the gas uh, fuel door is, fuel door releases. All right, so there we are down low. So now let's check out the exterior of this vehicle, which you can see is in pretty good shape. Silver, obviously. We're just going to go panel by panel here. We'll start here in the front. Looking good there. Head up to the roof. We got our luggage rack up top. You see windows in good shape. Garbage door and then the room and down low, so we're looking good. Same thing on the uh, rear driver's door. Looking good there. Real well. Into our tail light, which is in good shape. Before we get there, let's head up top. Check out the top of the tailgate there. Looking good. Again, tail light on this side in good shape. Right, there is your tailgate and we'll go a little lower here now and get a look here at the bumper looking good I'm gonna crawl under here a little bit and get you guys a look underneath All right, just to give you a look there all right so let's head up top And check out the uh, top there. Check out our windows looking good there. There's our fuel door, wheel well looking clean. And then down low. Alright folks, so that is a look at the exterior of this 2004 Volkswagen Touareg. You see a shot of the front of the car here. So the next thing we do is hop in it and take it for a test drive. Alright folks, we're going to take this 2004 Volkswagen Touareg out on a quick test drive. Let me get buckled in here. First things first, start it up. All right, as you can see, starts right up, no problem. Let's get out on the road here. Let's 
see the mist is picking up here just a little bit. to about 55 miles an hour, nice and smooth. See we're going pretty straight down the road here. Alright. Alright, so the next thing we are going to do is check out the brakes. See if we can have any pulsations or anything like that. So our brakes feel nice and firm, good pedal, there's no wobbling, there's no pulsation. So we're all set there. And we're going to spin it on around and head back. Again, nice and smooth all the way up to about 50, 55 miles an hour. And what we're going to do next is we're going to check the brake system in our vehicle. So we're going to find a little spot of gravel, hit the brakes, and we're going to check out the ABS and just kind of generally how the brakes perform. Um, things we'll be looking for is if we slide and lock up and slide in the gravel, that would indicate that our EBS system isn't operating as it should. I'm just dodge this little pothole. Alright, so that's good. I felt the ABS kick in. We didn't slide and we didn't pull to the left or right. So that kind of just indicates, like I said, everything's kind of working as it should be. All right, so the next thing we're gonna check out is our all-wheel drive system. So let's head up to the gravel over here. I'm just gonna come to a stop. And basically all I'm gonna do is hit the gas and you'll kinda see right there. Now normally what happens if you have a two-wheel drive front or rear, you'll spin before you get purchased. Sometimes you may not even get enough purchase. Um, obviously with all-wheel drive, we, we grab and take off no problem. So I'm going to put it in neutral, switch it into low range, and then I guess there's, there's two low range settings. Um, really, you don't, you're not going to use the lowest low range. That's if, if the weather is really, really, really bad. Um, but anyway, so that's that, and then here's our other low range setting. I just want to demonstrate this one for you guys. You see we take off no problem there. All right, so let's put it back into neutral, pop it into high, and there we go. So there is our four-wheel drive, and again, you can see we take off no problem just like that. So that's it, folks, 2004 Volkswagen Touareg. Right. And again, it's a V6. It's all-wheel drive. It has 150,184 miles on it. <clears throat> so if you are looking to get something, um, something for the upcoming winter weather, this would be a good one for you. Uh, this is, you know, obviously it's it's a smaller SUV. If you're looking for something smaller, I know some people like the bigger ones. Some people like the smaller ones. So this kind of gives you an option. Let me get you guys out of the holder here. Um, of what we have here. All right, so there it is. 2004 Volkswagen Touareg 150-184 on the clock. It does have a good New Jersey inspection sticker until December of 2020. So you don't have to worry about inspection or any of that. And as you can see, obviously, clean-looking vehicle on the outside. And it's pretty clean on the inside. A little bit of wear and tear, but overall, um, it's in good shape. All right, folks, so that's it, and we thank you for watching, and hopefully we'll hear from you guys soon. Like I said, this is something that in the next couple months you're going to be needing something most likely needing. Hopefully not, but you never know up here in the Northeast uh, with, the, with the bad weather that can just kind of pop up out of nowhere and dump a foot and a half of snow on you. 
Um, but anyway, folks, that's what we got here is a small all-wheel drive SUV. And if that's something you're looking for, please let us know. Thanks for watching, and we hope to hear from you soon.